What's up, everybody? This week's episode is all about Instagram highlights and how you can do a little extra so you can really stand out in the Instagram world. My name is Tria Sigerikson, and I'm going to teach you how you actually can customize your Instagram picture of your highlights so it really fits your feed and really uh, helps you to look professional in the Instagram game. So why do you even want to do this? Well, it's because you look really professional and you can make your colors look the same as in your feed. If you don't even know how you can uh, do these little circles and what it is uh, and don't even know what a story is, I will go through this. Uh, there is a lot of a ton of tutorials out in the internet on what a story is. I will just go through it very quickly what a story is first of all. First of all we want to open Instagram. So I'm going to share the screen with you so you see what I'm doing. But uh, to start with you have several circles on top here and these are the stories people actually are uploading. The basic of Instagram stories is that you upload some content like a video content for, or each clip can be 15 uh, seconds and you can upload photos. So what it basically does is you upload it and it's up for 24 hours and then it's removed. You can now take your Instagram story game up to a whole new level uh, because last year, 2017, Instagram launched a new feature called Instagram Highlights. So Instagram Highlight uh, is actually your stories that you save down to your profile and you can have it collected in your um, in your profile and that is the picture you saw me showed that I showed in the be beginning and here you can save your stories and just collect the stories that you actually uh, are most proud of or you show something if you have a event on your company or something you want to show people like what you're doing at the event, some behind the scenes, here you can save it. So it's like up forever until you delete it. So if we go into someone here that actually have done a story, we can look at Jon Olsson for instance. Here he have been taking some photos and often he's uploading photos, but you can actually do videos too. Like I, if we go in here to my stories, um, you can see that I have drone flight and a YouTube channel and you can create a lot of different things here um, but for instance we can take drone flight when I was in in uh, Halmstad for not so long ago um, we have um, uh, we have let me see if you see these guys yeah you have my story here that I have saved. This one I made and you can go in and check my stories out and see if this is something you also like to do. But basically you just want to save it and show people what you are all about and yeah just make a little extra touch. So how do you even upload a story? When you are at your home screen you can press on your little picture up in the left corner uh, there you can push it and you see the things you have already uploaded but you can also press up in the left corner a little camera button or swipe to the right uh, and you get the story up. When you are inside here you can see the button you have normal, boomerang, super zoom, you have a lot of different features. Hello guys! Uh, and here you actually can um, create if you want to take a picture uh, or if you want to make a video about it and if you want to do a video you just press the little button in below and you press it and hold it and you can hold it up to tw uh, 15 seconds and it's also counting down uh, so you will uh, get um, yeah so you know when you are ending and if you want to take a picture smile you just press one so what you can do later is to put it up on your event down in the left corner or you can save it uh, your event and save and you can write stuff in up to the right you have a lot of different features you can write you can paint and those kind of things but that is the basic on what a story is so when you have uploaded it we can look at uh, for instance my 
uh, my um, story I uploaded yesterday, uh, you can see this story, how I actually went to the gym and just these kind of things. And I have several little clips that shows what I'm doing. So the basic is tell a story here, like show your customers behind the scenes and show them what you are doing, what you're all about. Are you out on an adventure? To show them what you actually are doing in your company or in your personal brand. So the highlight feature that Instagram launched last year uh, is that you save these stories that you have uploaded to your profile. And what you want to do then is that you go into the story and you press on uh, highlight, add to highlights in the button. And there you can save your uh, story into a new highlight or one that you already have uploaded before and save. So you can create new ones or you can save to another one. So you can do a little series that you have on your profile. So the first step is to actually do your story that you want to use uh, and have on your profile. So you have added it, but then it don't look so good. It's really messy and the picture isn't looking like consistent. So what I do is that I'm customize it inside Photoshop so I can actually get it to look similar through all the highlights that I have. So let's dive right into the computer and I will show you how I'm doing this. Now when we are inside my computer, I open up Photoshop and I choose a picture that I like. I have actually done a template here, so I will open it up and let you guys know how I created this. So we are now inside. So this is the project that I have. So I have a lot of different pictures here that each of them is actually used for my highlight photos. And the picture, the picture dimension you want to use is 900 by 1900. which that is the format for your Instagram stories. So it looks like this. And I want to use a picture, so I had a lot of different pictures I wanted to use, but I took, and uh, I will see, a stock photo that looks like this. And I just dragged it on to this photo. And then I customized it. So I get the dimension I want to have. Let's press enter. If your photo already are set up for the pro portrait mode in your uh, from your camera, you don't have to resize it, you can just drag it in. So how can you get this round little picture? As you saw in the highlights, you have the picture is round, so you want to customize your picture like that, so it's actually round. So how do you do that? I will show you. So what I want to do is that I created a circle, you drag it and you press so you get it round in the shift key I think it is called. So I created a circle so the settings I have used on this circle is this one. So I have a shadow um, and this is the settings I have used. I have this one and the settings I've used here. So I've dragged down the opacity. Um, I have a stroke, a white stroke that is 40 pixel wide. And I use these two. So you can see the settings I'm using. Um, I don't actually know what everything is in English. So yes. And the circle I put down two the opacity of 35. So this is the basic that I have been using and then I downloaded some symbols that I wanted to use. So one page that I'm actually using quite a lot is, is this um, site. It's called flaticone.com. So here you can search for a lot of different symbols and it's for free. So that is what I'm I have been using as symbols here. I turned down the opacity to 73 
at my symbols and the settings I'm using is this and I'm so you can just pause if you want to use the same settings and there's an this one I'm using um, so it's just those three so the symbols is getting more rounded and like a more 3d um, feeling so that's why I, why I'm using this so what I'm doing next when I'm finished with this one and I save it down and now the fun part begins now you can airdrop it to your phone or the picture or you can send it through dropbox or whatever you use to get it up on your phone so now when you have it up on your phone you want to get it over to your highlights but first of all you have to upload a picture to your stories so add it to the end of your story if you know that you want to post it this day or you can actually also add your photo to the uh, story that you ha have uploaded on your highlights afterwards but it's going to be look like very like crazy uh, if you just randomly upload a lot of pictures that makes no sense for your followers but you can actually do that so now when you are inside your home screen you go into your story uh, so you swipe to the right or press on the little camera button up to the left so you swipe and you get this up so you swipe up and here you can find all the pictures that you have uploaded as you see I have a lot of uh, different pictures that I want to use for my highlights and then you press on the picture you actually want to upload and use as a highlight. So you choose the highlight you want to upload it to and then you go into your profile and find the one that you uploaded and added this highlight to. And like here is it is drone flight. Uh, so here I can edit. If you hold on it you can edit your uh, you get up the option to edit your highlight and in here you can edit your uh, your cover and you can write a new name of the highlight so you can see that you can choose from a lot of different pictures that the, the, the one that you have uploaded but if you press on um, edit your cover you will get up a new uh, you can choose from the pictures you have uploaded and you can customize your uh, your highlight. So here you can actually if you drag with the both fingers you can move this around and you can actually uh, resize it and just place it differently and the picture inside um, you want to have it as close you, you can and want to have. So you start with just placing it and then you press on finished up to the right and finished and when you are done there and now you have it up there uh, so that is how easily it actually is and it makes it so so good you can really you know use your branding colors use the stock photo that you really uh, like and represent your brand and you will get it so professional it and it's so good to be out now before everyone is doing this uh, because later when everyone has done it it's not a big deal but now not everyone is doing this uh, so be consistent and see okay what I what branding colors do I use in my business can I use a photo that actually rely with that if you have black in, uh, and pink in your business can you use a photo that actually show that you can write um, letters in these you can write you can do um, numbers you can just be super creative uh, with this and the circle you can uh, do it how big or small you want it just it fits inside it you saw how much you have to you know rely on uh, the space so just be super creative here it's not hard to do this little extra time and effort will absolutely hire and level up your Instagram game. So I hope you guys like this little teaser and video about how you actually can step up your Instagram game. If you liked the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and share it to a friend if you think that they also need to level up their Instagram games. 
it is a lot of people who needs it uh, so share it to them also make sure you leave a comment and let me know if this is something that helped you and if you think this is going to help your Instagram account to grow if you want to have more success on your Instagram game uh, please join my Facebook group Instagram success strategies there we are posting a lot of different uh, success strategies and just tips and we are just helping each other out with our Instagram game. So I hope to see you on Instagram, of course, and inside my Facebook group. So let's start there and I see you on Instagram and inside my Facebook group. Until the next video, take care and have a great day. Ciao!